Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Hope you're having a good day. Welcome to my channel. I am here just uh, yes, last night, got back from a little weekend trip. Uh, we live in North Carolina. We went over to Tennessee. So um, we had a destination in mind and planned. So, but we didn't have any kind of time frame to, that we had to be there and didn't have any type of itinerary. So what we did was, uh, you know, while we were driving, uh, I, my husband was driving and I would do searches for like thrift stores and Goodwills and <laughs> flea markets. And, you know, I think even if we saw a yard sale, we might stop at it. So that was our trip. Uh, so, and my husband does enjoy things like that. So it wasn't just me having fun, <laughs> but uh, I was going to, um, I usually, when I go on a trip, I do a little um, on the road crafting video and I didn't get to this time because we didn't really have any uh, time where I could do a video. Uh, I did do some crafting, but I didn't have time to do a video. We were busy driving and thrifting, so, and then arriving at our destination, but I thought I would do an unpacking video and show you what I crafted in case you need some ideas uh, of what you can do on the road. Now, I've done a couple other videos, so I've given you, um, you know, a couple other, and shared a couple other ideas, but I'm going to unpack my little craft bag here and just share a few things with you. <clears throat> Maybe we'll even craft a couple of things, but <clears throat> what I picked up, uh, at one of the travel centers in in Tennessee were um, several, they had some really nice looking travel brochures there at this, tra it was called a travel center, not just a rest area, but it looked kind of like a rest area, but it also had the travel center name, so they had this really cool, isn't that pretty? Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm about to cough. Just when I sat down, <laughs> of course. But um, I thought this was really pretty and maybe could be a future journal cover. It was just so colorful and pretty. It has the guitars and it says Tennessee up here. And it's a very thick uh, travel brochure for free there right in that travel center. And I have used these some of these travel brochure pages in some of my journals. So I wanted to pick up one of those. And then there was another one that I picked up that I thought had a really pretty cover with these colorful, the colorful city and the bridge and the water. I just thought that was so pretty. And this is uh, for Chattanooga. And then let's see what else did I get there. I guess that was all of the travel brochures, but I got several, you know, as far as big books type things. But I got several of these and I picked out the ones that I thought were pretty. And I could possibly use in my journal. I got a couple of these with trains. Those were really pretty. And then this was laminated. I thought that was neat and pot had possibilities for tags or whatever. I thought this one was pretty. I'll put it down so you can see the whole thing. Sometimes when I pick it up, it, it uh, the frame gets smaller. Uh, let's see what other brochures. This one I thought was neat. It had like little pictures here on the front that it could either, either use this cover or um, cut out the little pictures. And then who knows what's inside, you know. Could be some more cool stuff in there. Got a couple of those. This one also had the pictures on it, which I thought was neat. Um, this one, let's see, is that like, yeah, that's a different one. So several of them had these little pictures that I thought were neat. And here's one with musical instruments. I got a couple of those. I thought they, this was pretty. Uh, another one of those. This was just a map kind of paper. It's kind of like a, well, it is cardstock. And I thought it was pretty with the green kind of stripey background. And then the map on top. Here's a Ferris wheel over here. And so I thought that was really pretty. I only got one of those, unfortunately. And then let's see, another brochure with the pictures. This one had a log cabin on the front and the trumpet here and just a patriotic little emblem or you know graphic here that I thought was pretty and then they had some maps at the well my way out is I discovered some maps and so I've got a few maps from there uh, from that travel center and so it is a whole map that I can use and cut up and I do use these 
these folded maps in my journals. They make uh, you can cut them up into nice pages. So that's that little uh, bundle of joy. <laughs> and then, so I was going to tell you, um, I have put in my shop. Um, I have had these in my shop for you know a little while now, and so. Today, since it's, uh, we're already halfway or over halfway through July, I have put my travel journals on sale. So I just, I'm not going to flip through every page because I already have a flip through and I'll list or I'll uh, link it for the link under this video. But just to give you an idea, I made some travel journals out of some really beautiful um, National Geographic maps. Uh, the covers are all made from those maps. So like here's one. This map was New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. I took this piece. There was a piece like this that on each map that represented the states that it covered. So I took that piece from each map and made the cover. Okay. And then, uh, so you've got all kinds of nice ephemera and pages in here. And there's, I think, uh, I'm trying to remember how many pages something like 80 pages in each one so pockets and pages and just really nice uh for travel you know put your travel related memories in there there's an air i think there's an airmail envelope in each one some of them this is a one that i made but there are some vintage airmail envelopes in each in in a lot of them so and there's several left in my shop so just letting you know since we're halfway through summer or more than halfway that those are on sale and so those are like traveler's notebook you know standard size eight and one quarter by four and one quarter and then the other travel book uh, journal that I have in my shop is a book journal and so it's a nice hardback cover it's got the map and travel related little stickers and stamps on here it's spiral bound all the way down and so it's almost like kind of like smash book type thing but um yeah, i think the spiral brown on here is really pretty it's got the map on the front and and the postal i mean travel related post like postage stamps almost but they're not postage stamps they're just stickers but they're just so pretty the way it came out and then this has a lot of pages in you know you can see how it turns i've done a flip through of this one too there's all kinds of travel related little ephemera and tags I, tags I made out of travel related things so just a fun little journal with lots of writing room and blank room for you to put in your pictures or whatever you want and luggage tag and some pictures and pockets I've got lots of little tabs on the pages that you can write on here if you want to put a date uh, as you know for your travel or you know and it doesn't these don't have to be used for travel uh, here's a little tiny envelope <laughs> that's in here. So uh, that's a little pocket there. But yeah, it doesn't have to be used for travel, but there's, you know, that's the theme. So just lots of pretty, really pretty pages in this one. Here's an envelope that in the back with a postcard. So just lots of fun stuff in that one. So that's also on sale in my shop. So I just wanted to, while we were talking about traveling, just let you know that that was on sale and... You know available so as we unpack my bag this is what I brought this time because I've done something different every time I go on vacation I just kind of think about what do I need to make or what do I want to make what do I feel like making so this time I took my envelope punch board I took uh, some I have these either these are the same I didn't know how much I time I would have or how much I would get done so these are all six by six paper pads, and these are paper. These are all paper, not cardstock. And I liked what I wanted to do was make some envelopes and possibly file folders if I had time. And these are what you know. I had some of these, and so I said, well, let me use these. It'll be more convenient than trying to you know bring my cutter and cut up twelve by twelves into six by six. Um, pages so I just brought these since I had them and I love the colors in these two these are the ones these two or I think all three of these are probably from Walmart so um, they're just really handy if you're going on a vacation just to bring this and I didn't have to bring my big paper cutter so I had those and I had I think uh, my quarter rounder 
is in here somewhere. I was going to show you, but I've seen you've seen it. Here it is, right here. Here's my quarter rounder. So, but this, I think I, I think I did use the quarter rounder for these. But these are all the little envelopes I made this time while on vacation. So they're all these little. The six by six make these little size envelopes, and they are, I would say, about. I'm going to guess three and a half by three and a half. I don't have a ruler right here, but you can kind of see how, you know, how big they are, how small they are. <laughs> so, and then I'll, I love these colors. This is that paper. It just comes, you know, it has all these colors and it makes all these pretty envelopes. And they're all, the only other thing I needed was a glue stick. So I brought several glue sticks with me so I'd have plenty of glue. And I'll make one really quick. I know this is probably nothing new for most of most people, but just to make one really quick and show you how quick and easy it is with a six by six piece of paper. Like I said, I didn't bring my paper cutter, so I just cut with my scissors and I think I did at times make two at a time. I'm just doing one right now, but you can do two at a time with this paper. You know, it's not super... I mean, it's, it's a nice paper, but it's not so thick that you can't do two at a time. So then you just take it, and since you're making that little square, small envelope, you put it in like that, and I have it over here. This side goes on the three. There's a three right here. And then you just punch. You take your little phone folder and make a little line right here, score line with your envelope punch board and then you turn again and go to the three or actually line up your score line yeah preferably yeah don't go to the three let me let me tell you make sure I tell you right <laughs> go to the score line and line that up with your little point right here I think you can probably see that or let me lift it up so you can see the little point because that's sometimes hard to see there's a little point right here on your punch board so just line that little score line that you just made up with your little point and punch again score again and then just keep going around until you get all the way around all four sides doing that same thing and we'll just do it quick here whoops did I punch I didn't punch if you forget to punch just go back line up your line see I'm trying to go too quick <laughs> So, uh, yeah, line up your score line, punch, make your next score line, and we're all done with that one as far as punching and scoring. Now, just take, you see it's pretty much a square. You can fold in either, any of the sides. So what I do next is just fold in on my score line and then fold up. And let me get my Elmer's glue here. Take, I use El, I like to Elmer's glue stick uh, for things I want to make sure you know if I want to make sure they're gonna stick I use my Elmer's glue stick for things like this because you know Elmer's is a good glue and then for this you can see where your glue line is going to be right here under this flap so just do that and this does dry clear if you get any glue outside of that area and you're worried about it, just don't get any down here because you don't want to glue that shut because that's your envelope and then just push that down and you know make sure it's all sealed and then you can either use your your little corner rounder right here and that worked that worked fine you know do it again if you're worried about it not being round enough yeah that actually looks good I mean I you do use that a lot or sometimes I use my corner rounder and there we go, another envelope. So that's what I did on my vac my little vac weekend vacation here. Made a, made a bunch of envelopes. And then what else did I do? Let me add that to my stack. And move this out of the way. And I did one more thing. I um, carry a postage or postal type tags in my shop. So I brought my two punches here. I make this size and this size and that I carry in my shop and 
Let's see, I brought my postage stamps. I keep them in this. So I just threw this in my bag. These are all my US stamps. And then I have another little container that I had brought. These are all my non, like, these are all like patriotic flag type stamps. And then these are all my other non, you know, not necessarily patriotic, just have pictures and flowers. And, you know, some of them are from New Zealand and, you know, just other things besides flags. <laughs> you can see I have a lot of flags. People use that stamp a lot. So I, I, even though I have a lot, I still cut them out and keep them. So I had brought those two things with me. Several, a couple of baker's twine, little baker's twine from the Dollar Tree. And I brought those to make postage stamps. But here's all the ones I cut out. What I ended up doing, and only I only had time for, was I punched all of these. I punched some out of what I use is uh, recycling file folders. So I I cut all these, uh, you know, manila colored ones out of file folders, and all these blue ones were from blue hanging files that I happen to have that were used and no longer, you know, usable in office. So they didn't have, I, you know, I cut off the part. If there's any writing on these, I cut out, cut that out. Any uh, bad parts like wrinkles or anything, I cut that out and just use all of the, the good parts. And you can see it looks like new file folder. So I just ended up having time to cut all of these out. I cut the, oh, these are the larger ones that I cut out with this punch. These are the smaller ones that I cut out with this punch. And I had brought my my little uh, hole punch here and I cut holes and I mean, punch holes in all of these and all of these. And then I actually have a little strip here I need to take out of here. I made just with a strip of, of uh, of cut off that was from the file blue file folder I made all these little tags I just cut it up into little tags I like making these little tags so yeah I have I have these in my shop too little tiny there's a listing for little tiny tags so I made some of those and I will put uh, I will put uh, Baker's twine on those and have a little you know string on all of these but so that's all I got done that's all I had time for but the other things that I brought, if I would have had more time, besides glue sticks and baker's twine, was I brought this ink pad. This is for stamping my post postmark, which is this stamp. I brought that. I brought my distress ink because I distress these postal tags. I brought a little foam brush. That's what I use with my distress ink. And the only other things I brought, see, I thought I was going to have more time. <laughs> you can tell. I brought two magazines that I was hoping to, if I had time, cut out some pictures. This one's still in the plastic, but I brought my Better Homes and Gardens. I was hoping to cut out some uh, flowers and things from that, you know, whatever pictures I liked. And actually, did I cut out any? Let me see. Let me see, because if I did, I would have put them in here. Oh, I did cut some out. That's right. Where did, I think I did that in the car, possibly. Yeah, I think I did cut out a few in the car. So I, there, this envelope was in there. So I just used this to put my uh, cutouts in. So here's what I cut out. <laughs> just some, you know, random pictures that I can, you know, uh, maybe use on who knows what later on uh, they come in handy when you need a little picture uh, to glue on a tag or fussy cut out a flower like a sunflower so that's what I did I cut those out and I have them in here right now and I'll add them to my botanical uh, cut out magazine cutouts that I have stored over on my shelf and uh, that's pretty much it you know, and I, I did get a lot done. I wish I would have got more done, but you know, I was on a little vacation, so <laughs> the idea wasn't to uh, crafting the whole time. So, but I did get a lot done consider, considering the time that I had. And so that's just some ideas. If you just want to bring a couple of things, you know, you can do the envelopes and all you need is just a few things that I've already showed you. So um, if you have any questions, Want me to show you anything further or how to do anything 
that I talked about here, just mention it in the comments and I'll do, you know, separate video on whatever to answer your questions. So thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Happy crafting.